my carburetors were holding me back. Um, I've got the set ready to go. I've got velocity stacks, but on this one carburetor, it's missing the fuel thing that goes on the bottom to hold the gas in. So what I did is I looked online and I found a, a parts carburetor that's the same exact model and style. So now all I have to do is take the fuel thingy off of this carburetor and then install it on the bottom of this carburetor here. Um, pull those out and I'll be able to swap this over. But I need to make a gasket that goes between the carburetor and the bottom of the carburetor so the gas doesn't leak out. And to do that I'm going to take this gasket paper and I'm going to lay my part right down on top of that and then I'm just going to trace around it. There's the outline. Now I just need to carefully cut it out with my razor knife. I just need to drill a hole in each corner and we'll be ready to install this. And there's our homemade gasket, and it just slips right on the bottom of the carburetor like that. Got the holes all pre-drilled. Um, one last thing I want to do is if you look at the, the nice patina on this carb and also on my other carburetor, um, it really doesn't match the shininess of this, this thing off the parts carburetor. So I'm going to see what I can do to dull this up and make it look uh, more like the rest of the carb so it doesn't look stupid. I remove the shine with this cleaning pad and I, if it works right it should kind of scuff it up which it does it's kind of making it dull there so I'm gonna work on this for the scrubby pad just kind of made it scratched up so I'm gonna take this hairspray and I'm gonna put a coating of hairspray on it and get it nice and sticky and then I'm going to take some dirt from around the shop floor and I'm gonna sprinkle it with dirt and then rub the dirt into it and then maybe the hairspray will make it stick. And actually that looks pretty good it'll look more like more like that and I think that looks better and certainly matches up with the other carburetor okay I'm just uh, putting a little assembly glue along the gasket surfaces just to make sure it doesn't leak and then now all I have to do is get my uh, bowl on I just need those four screws back in there but now I have a, a complete set of carbs I can get this back on the motorcycle. Carburetors are installed. I have fuel in the tank, uh, fuel line hooked up, and I cannot start it because the battery is dead. Um, I guess fooling around with the lights and the wiring killed the battery. So next time it looks like we'll be making a battery charger to get this thing juiced up so I can work on starting it. And I'll see you then.